Why are you both of you? Like seriously? We here every Thursday on a Thursday, 8 p.m. Right. So you just ask it now. So Here we go, season four. <laughs> season over, we're going home. That's it. Episode's done. And, Fuck. and there's KB. Alright. Season four, episode 13. We here every Thursday on Thursday to break down with tone. My tone of my voice. And the camp out with a zero. Then me, KB. No tent. Hmm. No mm. tent. Pitch, pitching the tent. Last week was pocket full. This week we're pitching tents. All right. Oh uh, shit. Uh, you want to just kick it off? You want a special thanks to Official DKNO. Send this care package. Shout Everybody out to got a little something out of there. So shout out to uh, Official DKNO. Um, kick it off. We got what is it? The thirtieth tomorrow. Give me one hold of the zone. Oh shit! I gotta get my inspection. Tomorrow's the 29th, 29th tomorrow. Twenty ninth. Uh, we got medicine. This bulb. inspection season. What's that? Huh? My car got to get inspected. Oh, cool. uh, no. LeBron's... In two years. Bro, breakdown. All right. This, we this ain't fucking AutoZone. Um, Nike LeBron 16 medicine ball. Uh, clean. I'm mad at it. The col colorway's dope. I, I like do these. like the medicine ball colorway. These are fire. Uh, it's dope. I don't know about colors. that material. Don't you don't like the, the battle knit? Is it better? I like knit? it, but I don't like it with the other material. Oh, the overlay. Yeah, I don't like that. I'll, if you did the whole bat on it, like in like I'm that. not a big fan of the strap. I'll probably take the strap yeah, out. I don't want the straps either. Get the strap? Well, <laughs> Mike, how you feeling over there? Uh -huh. I'm yeah. Enough sugar? Medicine balls? Yeah. Chilling. I, I'll move Shout out to Mike. Spoonful of sugar. Mike? Shout sense. out to KB. Shout out to KB, though. For real, for real. Well, can Shout we out. do that after? Can we do it after? Uh -huh. After thoughts? Let's do it first. That's... Alright, whatever. God damn it. It was, I have like a whole segment for that. Let's go. Let's Ooh. go. We, we keep moving. Alright, Pharrell and Adidas. Trash. Alternate white crazy B Y W L V L X. Just putting shoes out. I mean, wait. I, I, remember, I thought this was the first color. Wait, no, it's black. The first color. The first, like the first color is black. To... The white's definitely better. They don't fit me good. Like this, these kind of silhouettes, like the B Y W or like, I just not for me. <laughs> they don't fit good. No, they don't fit good. <laughs> uh, if you're in my category, trust me, dog. That shit don't fit good. This is not for you. This is not for us. Uh, next up, we got Overkill and Puma. Shout they out to Death of Holmes. You're gonna stomp on your shit. Shout out to Death Phones on the next Those post. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Wait, what happened? Michael's talking. I'm always talking over everyone I know, sorry. I'll wait my turn. You good? Chill. Alright, Overkill and Puma Radiant Venom release date is 329 19. Those are fire. There you go. Take I like them. Huh. I fucking hate you. I forgot to put earrings on. See? There we go. You wanna take a you wanna take a time out? No. No. It's fine. I'm trying to help out. You good? Anyway, uh, Death of Foam's on this post and the next one. Um, shout out to him for those. Next up, we got Sanra, 6th Gallery. Yo. 6th uh, Floor, First Come, First Surf, 329. The Yo. colorway is clean. I, I gotta tell you. The colorway is clean. That yeah. colorway. Good all year round. It, all seasons. The salmon, though. You can't go wrong with the salmon. The browns are fine. That contrast is good. I just don't like that fucking the branding on the side. I just... You don't like his, uh... No, I don't like the logo. It's, I don't it's know. It's HS. I don't know, I just... It's an H and S. I, 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 I realized that, like, maybe three weeks ago when I was looking at Asana, and I was like, it's JJ, well, I don't understand. And I was like, oh, HS. I still don't even see the H. The H is on the sides, and then the line that goes through. I see, I see the H. It, it makes sense. Like, I, I thought, I, whatever. Nice little it's a beautiful color. And I see the S, too. Beautiful color. I see it, I yeah. see it. You enlightened? I, I synced it. I synced it, Master. I synced it. No. Every season. Every, every episode. <laughs> I'll leave that alone. Next up, we got March 30th, Nike Air Max 270. Uh, triple white. I think we can move right along. No. Uh, I don't know. Damn it. Stop it. Just stop. Yo, it's springtime. What do you mean? Yo, that'll be Move on to 720. Move on to 720. You walk in the city, like, I mean, you get any a black... City. No. New York, in, you, in Soho, I walk, like, two feet, my shoe's black. Damn, how do you walk? What do you be kicking? She just drags her feet. KB yeah, kicking. Like, uh, kicking with KB. Kicking it with KB. Oh, no. Nobody already has that. Kicking, Shout out to Didi. Kicking it with Didi. Shout out to Didi. Shout out to Didi. Next up, we got Nike Air Max 720 in the triple white as well. Fire. I, I mean, oh, there it is. That's a 720. Whoa, that's just, like, a sponge for dirt. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, hey, 
That's dirty. A, it's like a challenge, though, when you're wearing an all-white shoe to not like, get them dirty. Yo, it's, people are going to die. You know what, though? I think you would just customize it. It's a blank canvas. Trying, people are going to custom it. You know? We're going to build some hype on this one. Shout out to customizers. And sy- synthet- uh, synthetic dye. You could definitely do Easy. something with that bubble, too. Easy. Yeah, word. Get on it. Chilling. Nike Air Max 720. Nike Air Max 97, also white, but they did a silver metallic 3M on the upper, on the wave area. I like Max 7s, but not this color one. Yeah, it's a little nah. redundant. Nah. What's that, corduroy? What is that? Hell, oh, no. No, it's not corduroy. They're 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 canvas. Trivial. Definitely canvas. Let's right. talk about these, though. Let's talk about uh, And a New Balance X90 Purple Haze Pack released. Ooh, purple 30, Haze. 33019. <laughs> Yeah, take it. Yo, these things are clean. I just gotta say the name, and you can do whatever you want. The middle pair is the best one, I believe. But what? the whole thing is fine. I think the bottom I'm one's gonna be like the best yeah. one to wear for everything. There's the lilac and the grays with the little lilac. dark raspberry color laces type shit. I wish they would have done the lilac with the purple. I mean, you can swap the laces. Is, is that raspberry or tingleberry? What color is that? Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go. See? There it is. That top it's pair. Told to give this. That top <laughs> pair is just a regular GR pair. You can wear that shit with everything, but. The bottom two is definitely the best out of the Shout pack. Out Shout out to N. Y'all niggas did your shit. I mean, I like all of them. I'm not going to lie to you. I do like them. And I've never worn an X90. Even the dark gray is fire. That that mid-tone. Everything is dark. I like the the black pair, actually. Yeah, I think the whole thing is clean. It's canvas, too. It's canvas and suede. Oh. But it looks like a lot more premium material than you'd expect nice. for that price point, number one. I I, I just think I it's, did the raffle. it's well played. Uh, next up, we got well. Shout out to Death Bombs on that How post as well. How are you gonna charge one forty for that size? Well, what? Uh, next up, we got it. Adidas Yeezy three hundred and fifty Boost V two Clay for North America and adults, kids, and children's or top as a top toddlers for one forty. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Retail one hundred and sixty. Oh, that's what you were saying. The adult size is two hundred and twenty, and the freaking size that's this big is one hundred and forty. Sheesh. Like a soft bottom, huh? Right. No, right? No, definitely not. Get a boost. Yeah, a little bit more. Still out though. Little little styrofoam. Yeah, the most fire P2s I've seen in a while. Just it's a nice color. That tan yes. is really nice. It is very nice. I Tuts. like these. These are nice. Right oh, now, I, I feel like they're good for kids and like. Yeah, they're good for everyone else. Yeah, sorry. Air yeah. Jordan 3 Tinker University Red with the uh, swappable swooshes, if you will. These are nice. I like them. The Air Max 1. You can't go wrong. You really, like the elephant swoosh is the best one on there. I, I really think the white and the red is just dope. Nice. Yeah, so nice, so nice. What, you think the red was right there? No, no, this iPad. Oh, it was glitching type shit? Yeah. yeah it was right. doing it on mine too, but whatever. Anyway. These are nice. What was the <coughs> Uh I don't know what retail is. N-A. 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 Probably 220. <laughs> I would assume they're 220. Yeah. Yeah. I like the, the brown pair they dropped, the brown with the orange one too. Supposedly, oh, there's okay. a uh, triple black tinker coming out this year mm-hmm. with 3M swooshes. Or? I'll be all over those. Uh, next up, we're gonna move along to Ooh. Afterthought. Speak on it. Oh, oh yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, do that first. Yo, I felt like it was my Air Max right, birthday. I thought, I thought we did it already, my bad. Fucked up. You gonna do it the right way? Three, two, one, go! Action. I get one of those things. No, you're gonna break it. Who the fuck's it? gonna use it? Me. Exactly. Me, snap it, and then throw it? Like, I don't know. Yeah, that's dope. Who's gonna catch it? It's just dope. The first time you throw it. It's just dope to look pieces. at. Pieces. Anybody yeah. wanna send us one of those? Anyway, could you could we do Afterthought? Afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. The Afterthoughts. We here every Thursday on the Thursday eight PM. I am tone of my voice. This is K Black twenty three. Somebody forgot the two three in your app. Shout out to so Shout out to Mike, the camp out. We here. Uh, why are you having sidebar conversations? Yeah, what's going on? Why are you you're fucking swimming? up. You fucking up out here today. I am. Yeah. I I thought I was doing good. Yeah, we're doing good. I like your sword. The sword is fire. Thank you. Shout out to Kip. Shout out to Coca Cola. Nah. Shout out to Cherry. EB. We're going to do shout out to EB. Go shout out to Extra Butter and Bam go. It's Bernie for being the man. Nick, Anker, the whole team over there. Uh, very, very dope. Dude, it was uh, my birthday. I want to have my next birthday party at Extra Butter. That was so cool. Did, did, did he okay that? Because yeah, I felt like he okayed that. He okayed that. that. I want my next birthday party. That's fire. I'm with it too. That shit was so dope. Shout out to Bernie. Definitely. For Everybody got a pair of 720s. I got a nice speech about me that I almost cried. I missed it. Sorry. It's okay. Surprisingly, Tone wasn't there on time. What else is there? Which is very rare. But I was shocked that he showed up. But you knew why. I, I, yeah, I knew you were coming. I wasn't like, oh god, Tone is there. They put on a show, you know, and in the middle of the movie, uh, yeah. your fucking Tone in the background. I was like, I oh, hear you. Know. <laughs> Just ruffling okay. through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Who was that big Samoan? <laughs> uh, it was dope. 
Uh, a, a lot of stores and boutiques had a special activation for Air Max Day. Nothing too crazy. Kith did a bespoke program for three winners. Fire. Extra Butter had their storyline for the Air Max with Mayor's Pairs or 30 Favorite Pairs behind the register. Concepts did a drop-off thing in the New York store and so on and so forth. Those are the three that I'm aware of. I'm sure there were other things that went on. I know that there was something that night as well in Brooklyn. What was that? Those that Nike uh, Department of Honor Managers. No, I don't, I don't yeah, know I, what exactly I, I, was I, I heard it was horrible. No, it was, it was just like show. It was like an experience. It wasn't. Oh, Rich the Kid was there. I yeah, know it was like, like that. Like, I don't you weren't buying anything. It. Yeah. You weren't um, get to buy I didn't look into it. I did it. It was the whole, out. literally, it was the whole reselling sneaker New York community. I, don't, I saw people. Yeah, because videos, it, thought that it, was it was an event. Anything. There was free alcohol. It wasn't like, it was whatever. It was just like a get together. Yeah. I, I, I feel it was like, like when Virgil did his off white thing. It, like similar. Oh, the one downtown. Yeah, it was like the same as that. I, listen, I. I, I don't like that the visibility is not there. Like, they're, they're not very clear <clears throat> on what's going on where. Like, sometimes last year, or was it the year before, they had, like, that, that launch calendar, and you were able to, like, try to get into the events early on. And, and you, you knew what you were signing up for. Yeah, if you knew you were signing up, or you had, like, a code, which was a farce also. That was horrible. But at least there was a calendar to let you know things were happening. This year was kind of, like, it was very diluted as far as you got information. It wasn't, it wasn't very good. I didn't like it. Next up, Air Max Day this year was in. Yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, yeah so, so a lot of people ask me questions about how I got on the sneakers app. Oh, wait, hold on. Shout out to Mariah. She was one of the winners for the KIF oh, uh, work, Bespoke work. Air Max 1 or True. whatever. True. Shout bad. out to you. Sorry about that. So a lot of people ask me how I got on the Air Max thing. That was random. It wasn't like scripted. It wasn't scheduled. I was walking. Guy was like, hey, you want to take a picture? Took a picture. That was it. That's fine. Yeah, yeah it, wasn't like, it wasn't like some crazy, hey, Mike, what are you doing? They don't really care who I am. They were just like, oh, you're wearing Air Max. You want to take a picture? I was like, okay, cool. Uh, next up, we got Brian. I'm, I'm like blind from this light today. It's a little, I said it's a little bright. Like, it's a little, a little much. A little much. I can't see nothing. Wash out the color today. Brian Nation, it looks like three days ago. Hashtag culture. Can't you see. see. Do you see the market slash culture changing or evolving into something where where the focus is less on a hero type Don't person selling you a product or inspiring you to buy the... Shit, I knew it. That, that's because you don't put the pressure on your arms. You gotta put the pressure on your arms when you push off instead of your feet. Total my voice, we here. Yeah. And break tears. Again. And I super glued that shit last week. Anyway. I am beyond super. Wait, what side did you break? Oh, you broke the side with the same one. And the super glue. Awesome. Oh, Back shit, to Brian. <clears throat> Uh, let's do it one more time. <laughs> Hashtag good. culture. Do you see the market slash culture changing or evolving into something where the focus is less on a hero type person selling you a product or inspiring you to buy their product to more of we inspire slash create ourselves? Kind of SoundCloud of sneakers. That'd be cool. Yeah. Like an underground yeah. universe for the whole sneaker community. Like how Nike Talk used to be back in the day. Well, I, I, feel, deal, right? I feel like the question is more along the lines of instead of it being, especially with all this stuff with Sean Witherspoon. But you can't like put a per a person or a celebrity is not going to make me buy a shoe like that. It makes a lot of people though, which is crazy. Sometimes people are influenced. Like Sean Worthers. I don't even like him, and I bought a shoe because the shoe's nice. The, the shoe was dope, but I don't man. like. I feel like amazing. there was a lot more exposure mm -hmm. due to Sean and the placement of. His, his voting booth and his, his social story. media backing. The marketing his shoe, was amazing. But his shoe was really good. Great marketing with that. Oh, yeah, but that, that's like the question. The question is, do you think that they need that type of person or do you think it's going to evolve to where like... They need groups. people like that who's going to design something like that. So they, Which yeah, they should reach out into, into like, he's more along the lines of one of us rather than one like them, like a designer, someone with a degree for that. Like, I don't think... you. See, like my problem is I don't think to design you need a degree. I don't think so no. either, but what I'm saying, you, you can't call yourself a designer. I, really though, like you could design anything. You could design handbags if it's your design. Hey, it's your creation. Is. It's, it's whatever. <clears throat> like, I, I think that they put people on these plateaus that put them too far above what it really is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's bigger than what it really is. He yeah. owns a resale shop. He made a dope colorway. Fire. He did. You you make dope colorways and fucking bespoke. Like if they were like, hey, listen, we really like one of your fucking bespokes. Can we do a mass production of it? Okay, yeah, cool, fine. You, you. They would never do that because it was spoken too much. <clears throat> I, I get. I'm just creating a hypothetical. For you. Just a theory. Just a theory. Yeah, like hypothetically, like they could be like, oh, you know what? That's that's really we could use that for next year's Air Max design. Like everybody mm -hmm. who did a bespoke oh. and like the subculture of de designing shoes for Nike, we're gonna look through all these and then contact you personally and be like, yo, this is fire. Can we use it? Yeah. Even yeah. if they and you say no, then they'll do something way. you know influenced by it or something yeah. similar. 
you're gonna see something that's gonna be like, wow, like that's really close to mine, and there's nothing you're gonna be able to do about it. Exactly, day. exactly. Like I, I don't know, but I feel like the the way that the market is right now, it's hard to say that one person or any group can <clears throat> subsequently do anything different. I think it's just the mob mentality of the way the sneakers are right now. The resell is one, and then everybody looking at the same picture over and over and over again, being like, oh, damn, that is kind of fire. Or seeing a celebrity wearing it, oh, those are kind of fire on foot. Like, it becomes like a snowball effect of all these positives and or negatives. Like, it could be a negative connotation also. Huh. Whatever. It's a good topic, though. I like that. Some people's Instagram feed would be just like a marketing commercial all day scrolling. Just plug that motherfucker in. Uh, next up, we got David Blockman. Dave, I'm sorry, I'm skipping the top half of your comment because it's a lot. Uh, five days ago, hashtag the culture, hashtag chillin'. Uh, is originality dead in sneaker collecting? I feel like I'm either hunting down pairs I missed in the past or underrated GR stuff <clears throat> that's releasing now. Is it just me or does it feel like the sneaker community gets hyped over the same two or three releases every weekend? And I just can't get with it. I like sneakers because I want to stand out and feel, and now I feel like every release makes me one of the crowd. That was a really good statement. Like, I totally agree with that. I, I believe a lot of people get blindsided through the hype and through the advertisements and what everybody's, like, trying to hunt down. Because you know the shit's fire. And then if everybody's chasing it, and then you know if you're going to miss out, you're going to end up paying a ridiculous price tag later on. So you just end up missing a lot of cool shit that's GR, and you try to go back. I look for the shit when the hype is over for the other shit. I just think something needs to change and then it'll reset. I think, okay, I always think of this when I think about like GR stuff and stuff that's coming out and people getting hyped over it. Pink Pack is probably one of my favorite Air Maxes for oh, Air Max. Yeah. Super dope. They went on sale two years later after oh, they originally damn. dropped. Not they went sense. under retail. And now like to get a pair is like stupid hard and they're stupid expensive. But that was a GR pair. Perfect example. example. Which is a perfect example of like what the 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 sneaker realm goes through from time to time. Like there's a pair of what were those those premium Air Max ones that Tone was looking at? Right? Mm -hmm. That's one of those <coughs> shoes that is a GR thing, it goes under radar, goes on sale, and then in six or seven years people are like, Oh, Air Max One's fire again and then you're like, Oh <laughs> I fucking have these and they're like, Oh man, I would pay mad money for those but they're nowhere else that's, to be found, and you can do that. That's the way it works. I, that's why I always feel like you should just buy what the fuck you like. Word. Like, realistically, like, there's a ton of GR Don't shit that like comes out like. that, you know, may not stand the test of time because you wear the shit out of it because you really like the shoe, but then they might pop back up again, and people are like, oh, man, I can't believe I missed those eight years ago or four yeah. years ago or three years ago. At the end of the day, like, just because there's money to be made off of shoes now, people for, are forgetting that there's GR shit that just is <clears throat> fire as other things that are hype. Word. And can equate to more. Like, uh, Air Max 90s from Virgil are, what are they, 450, 550, something like that. Pink Pack is 775, and that's a GR shoe. So, like, you, you could look at it in retrospect to that if you're a fucking seller. If, if that's what you are and that's what you're thinking about, but then you have to sit on product. It's different. And enthusiast. you also have to know the cult, like, how it works and how... I don't think so. I don't think people, when Pink Pack came out, they were like, oh, that's going to be the best shoe in fucking 10 no, years. No, those didn't come in small sizes. Uh, well, I get that. But, <laughs> but, that, but, uh, but that's how I look at that. Also, in five plus years, it's going to be a whole different group of people that's going to come into the game. They're going to hunt down the stuff that we already There's have. some things now. that I sold. I'm like, so there's going to be more people sold. coming through trying to get the old shit. So exactly. If you really like the fucking shoe, get it now while it's there. Trust me. Or, or you know, you get it for less than retail or retail. Listen, just, honestly, it, it all falls back on the buy what you like. Like, <clears throat> at some point, there's so many people in the world, it's not just one person that likes a shoe anymore. It's no. not like a shoe comes out and you're like, I'm, it's me and three other people that really like this shoe. Like, no. there, there are a lot of personalities that like the same things. People. You know what I'm saying? Like, back in the day, it was like that. It was like, oh, it was a smaller niche category. So, it was really underground. Exactly. It was, it was crazy. only the same couple of people buying the same shoes every weekend. So, uh, who do we got next? We got Boston. Somebody else want to read one? Or? Sure. I'm like really blind from looking up and looking down. That's again. why I can't look up. Boston's best. I'm gonna lower this. Curated. What's up? Wow. Fuck Question wow. with the dingleberry. What do you think Zappos <laughs> comes to position? I fucking hate you. I believe more will come. You went in AE, pretty much similar situation. Do you think this is gonna hurt everything we believe in? I think it's good for the select companies that are growing, but I believe it can be bad. I foresee some small shops closing in the next few years. Look at Goodwill out, for example. Thoughts? Well. I think a lot of people are just honest, online shopping. I, don't know I think the brick and mortar experience is dying out slowly. 
I've always been a couple racist. I, I, I feel like because I feel like sneakers is becoming like politics. Like you have to believe one way or another. Like, dude, whatever the <clears> fuck <throat> you want to do, this ain't politics. You're not a Republican or a Democrat. Like, what the fuck? It's no offense, Paolo, but what we believe in, like, we might not believe the same things. Yeah. Just All be about honest. As, like, and at the end of the day, like, I can't. A kid now can do and buy what they want and I'm not going to say nothing because when I was a kid I did what I wanted and didn't give a shit what the older kids said or what they wore or you know what I'm saying do you do what you want pretty much am I wrong I, I'm no. just waiting for you to answer the question that was, but he said that so with companies like Zappos buying okay. out concepts just cut that out because it didn't make sense and American Google you. like I think that creates I don't, like I don't want it I think that creates just pissed me off you good yeah, I'm good. All right. I think that creates an opportunity for brick and mortar or smaller stores to create their own lane once again. So if you think about concepts and you think about urban necessity, even though it was a fast growth to the American Eagle partnership, it becomes one of those things where just because these brands became much larger, there are still stores that were like them prior to. Uh, I'm, I'm going to throw all the right into the mix just because that's something that hits home a little bit closer. They're a smaller store that does more niche things, which is what these stores used to do. So I, I think them going on to something bigger leaves room for the smaller store to then become that go-to location and become the new boutique. And also, you got to put yourself in the store situation. Like you got to make money and pay the bills and... So sometimes I got, it's about growth. It's about growth for some of these. It's the same thing with uh, JD Sports. They just finished buying uh, a partner. That was a good idea, Tom. They just finished buying, uh, putting up a partnership with another small boutique, and they yeah, like they bought out, did they, buy, um, did they buy out that, not sneakers and stuff, um, size. I think they bought yeah, out I think size. it was it was one of those European shops. Yeah, so so I, listen, it's about growth at some point, and like you realize, you get to a point where your worth, your net worth is more. So there's no reason not to capitalize. Like, I'm sure Kith is going to do it sooner or later. Like, just because they're really big and they're not sitting where some of the other stores are sitting that are in the same realm, so they can continue growing without, you know, an added partnership. But at the same time, if they go, some company comes in and goes, we'll give you $30 million or even higher, who the fuck knows, to get partnership or to own part of the brand, you think they're going to turn that down? I don't think so. And I think that most stores would strive to get that kind of number out of their out of their work and the effort that they put in to build their shop. And then you've got the smaller stores like, uh, what's the other one? Foot Patrol. Like, Foot Patrol is owned by <clears throat> JD2 now, I believe. Is it? If I'm not mistaken. I think they bought them. And then uh, Colette got bought out as well. So uh, it, it's one of those things where it, it's right retirement. now the, the sneaker market is is where it's at. I hate to say it, like it, it's really where it's at for a lot of brands, and they see the exposure they can get from it. So to capitalize isn't a bad thing. But like I said, it creates room for smaller stores to then get into a position because like I don't want to shop at a big brand store. I want to shop at a smaller store. I want to get niche stuff. I want to feel a relationship. Like I don't want to feel like it's a corporate thing. And a lot of people, you know, they create all these startups and they'll just start small. And then once it gets to that top, and if they get bought out. They'll probably take that money and retire, or they'll just start another similar business exactly. and then build this shit up again. Like, like, and just at, keep repeating, just recycle that Hickman. money. Look at Hickman. He went and did his own thing, you know? Like, Smart. Like, fuck it. And uh, he's still doing his thing. Shout out to him. We're going to move along to viewer comments. I, I realize nobody has an iPad anymore, so I'll read it. I'm dropping uh, off the chair like seven times. Already. Morris, uh, six hours ago, hashtag culture, ha hashtag I chase hype. Hmm, Morris. Hashtag we here. What are your thoughts on this year's Air Max Day? Uh... On this year's Nike Air Max Day, did they fall short or exceed your expectations? I feel like we touched on this a little bit. But yeah, we did. I just feel like <clears throat> they shouldn't have to put something out every Air Max Day. Like, I don't know. They can't top off what they. You have to chill sometimes years. to have some pop. They went too big. Back out. I feel you. I'm not. I'm yeah, old old was, like like what we said in the last episode, that they they put out too much shit the first time going around. Like they should have did it little by little. The first event, fucking amazing. Next year? But there wasn't uh, that like a certain amount of years, wasn't it? Like 25 years, they imagine they did that event. Yeah, it was a big celebration. I mean, but, but, but like they made it a day. It was dope, though. I, they, they made but it a day. to do that every year. year. Yeah, why not? It would be hard to. It's a lot of money. To top it? Uh, yeah, yeah, every time. I don't I, who says you have to top it? I, I, I feel like they're experiment. I, I, listen, I don't want to keep talking. I feel like whatever. Because well, right. he's talking to We're all, we're all saying the same thing. We're all saying the same thing. I'm trying to I'm trying to hold back on how much I talk. Next up. Shut the fuck up. Back to Souls? Mm -hmm. Culture. I question. Let's say Camp Out gets into a sneaker line and the bouncer says, You can't get it unless you're part of the culture. And then let's say KB shows up and vouches for you and then Tone comes through and says, Nah, kid, 
White Lace Gang only. Did you really put this question in there for me to fucking read this? I don't even want to finish it. No offense, Dr. Souls. I'm not reading Where's the question at? Could you finish it? Uh-huh. It goes, White Lace Gang only. Gang, gang, gang. We, we here. Now, if the bouncer takes a long, lustful look at y'all and screams, you're, do you trust him? Is the bouncer now part of the culture? It's a very, very uh, yes, asinine we, question. Yes, we, we'll trust him. We'll trust him. Don't worry I don't trust it. him. I don't trust <laughs> shit. Uh, first of all, I would never trust a bouncer at a sneaker release line unless I know him personally and I know that he doesn't fuck around. You gotta Charles give him a Charles. dub and that's it and it's over. Is Charles a bouncer? Well, he's like head of security. Charles! I, I don't trust any fucking security guard at any fucking sneaker release. I hate to tell you that. Like, I even some of some of the dudes that like I've seen for years and I know are mad fucking shady. I won't even go to the fucking sneaker line just People because got I know bills to pay. I don't give a fuck about your fucking bills. Yeah, that's what your job is for. Your job is to pay those fucking bills. If you have to fucking underhand people who actually have jobs too, they gotta hustle. Like that's fucked up. Can't knock the hustle. Yeah, I can't knock the hustle. Fuck that hustle. You can't. Uh, yeah. Nah, that shit like that doesn't piss you off. That nope. doesn't that doesn't piss no. you off. That your job is to just be security and make sure that everybody's in line goes in where they're supposed to be in line. It never goes go, fairly. Then you go no. Never. Oh, it does. The oh, it does. Oh, it can. It can go fairly and it whatever. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. uh, Logan Baez. Logan J Baez. Five days ago. I'm not part of the hashtag the culture. I'm part of the hashtag The Breakdown. Hey. Shout out to you. You're the great. Breakdown, we here. Even though I'm not in the videos, I still feel like I'm there with you guys. Y'all give off a great vibe. I wish nothing but the best and keep doing these videos. Thank I just you. do this in because... I, sometimes I, we need some positivity. Especially after that last comment. Which one? Me snapping out about security guards. Were you not here a second ago? Right. They don't even, but you know what? They don't even watch the show. So. Who, security guards? Yeah. I, shout out to I care about the people who do watch the show, so shout out to you. Thank you, Logan. Security. Uh, Next up, let's go. <laughs> security. <laughs> what, you watching this now? Yep. Well, you really... Well, read it. Do you think bait and size... Who is, is it? Ambisfer. Culture. <laughs> Ambisfer. Do you think that bait and size official are consistently the best stores for collabos apart from extra butter? Mm. Mm. That's a long debate. I mean, I like That's a few. A, I like Atmos's. I think Atmos has so many under their belt. It depends on what brand we're talking about, I really think. You think Atmos supersedes a few, or... I don't think but you're so. talking about ASICs and other, they're different That's things. what I'm saying, depends on what brand like you're speaking of. Atmos, at, um, Atmos has ASICs, what are you talking about? Trash ASICs. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking about their Nikes, though. Well, you're only sticking to what, one Which thing. year are we speaking on now? Well, which saying, Atmos, uh, Nikes? You just said what brand has, I'm talking about their list of all their fucking... This is a strong, brand. long debate, but... I'm new, new balance like, all day, every day. A bit, I can't have an opinion on the show. I'll just shut up. Anything new balance. The whole thing is to have a little conflict about? back and forth. Like, I, I'm debating what you're saying about... You're very aggressive today. What do you mean? Is he aggressive today, Tom? I'm not here. Why are you sipping it like you're the one we're not talking about? Oh, my God. It's only entertainment. Come on. What, what, okay, so what about what about size do you love the most? Like, what what's your favorite or, or at most, right? Hello. No, no, bait. What'd you say? Atmos is your favorite? I said Atmos. So, I, said, so, I didn't say it was my favorite. I said Atmos is one of them. Like, okay. One of the best collaborators out there. Yes. Okay. Okay. General. I, I no matter what. All right. That's a hard debate. I think Concepts is one. The mm. bird, which Concepts is good for brand, New Balance. No. Yeah, exactly. Like, That's what I'm saying. Depends on what's which brand. you're talking about. But if you like round out like who has the best of what they've done. Too hard to pick one, too. No, you can't. Like, That's an unfair like question. If, if, you, if you can even out, so like somebody, oh. who, so okay, let, let's go. Kith, Kith has done Asics. They've done grass. New Balance. They've done Asics. They've done New Balance. They've done Nike, right? They've done. Kith did Vans. not make an iconic fucking Air Max shoe that like, like no, I'm sorry. What, which is part of my my well, topic I'm saying here. Kith does good collabs, but I won't say it's one of the. We best. need all the requirements. Exactly. I need all the I, I'm saying who has the most well-rounded Atmos. collaborations. Yeah, Atmos. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with Atmos. Okay, outside of Nike, what else have they done great that you love? I have a couple pair of Asics. Okay. Okay. So Atmos is good I'm at Nike. I'm just asking the question. I'm trying to get. I'm not, the... But I'm not saying he didn't say. Okay, who's good at Nike? I'll we'll say Atmos. Who's good at Who's good at Asics? That's why. Ronnie, I, that's why I said I'm not gonna answer. Okay. Like, is that better? But who has the most well-rounded fucking rollout? Bait, Definitely bait, not Ronnie. Bait, I didn't say. I didn't say. I was saying a few. I, think I thought a few. you were going hard for kids just now. No, 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 no. Oh, I, my no. first statement was a few. Like I think a few puts out a lot of really good shit, no matter what yes. they put out. Yeah. Foot Patrol is nice too. Foot Patrol, yeah. And I'm thinking about the trash. Only in Soho was like my favorite from Foot Patrol. 
Those salty. Even though most of those, those sunlight ASICs that I got. I, so I, I like, agree. It's I, changing the sunlight. I agree. The soul box did it better. True. Uh, With the uh, gray and the purple. These, you know, these kind of problems, these are going my size problems. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, that's where we're going to go with that. But I, I, I think so size doesn't matter then, huh? Word. Uh, well, played. <laughs> well played, sir. Um, I think size does decent shit. Like, they definitely <laughs> they definitely do good. The, the Safari one that they just put out. I don't know, but um, I got to go, so. Okay. Go with your... Well, we, we can always go to after hours, you know what I'm saying? Oh, after, yeah. after thoughts. Chilling. After thoughts, after hours. That's what we're going to call it. Uh, let's go to Soul and okay, Sons four days ago. Hashtag culture. Which clothing band, which clothing brands come are coming up for you? Now, this is a question for <clears throat> the viewers. I feel like I honestly have been not paying attention to like what clothes are coming out or like what clothing I brands are like, what I like. becoming whatever. But I, I, listen, if you know any clothing brands that like deserve a look or whatever it is, yo, shoot the DM or drop it in a comment or some shit or whatever the fuck you got to do. I'm but go with them. Yacht Pay. <laughs> Ivy Brand. Okay. okay. I, oh, yeah. I, I'm wearing Ivy Brand. Hello. Yacht Pay. Go Shout out to Soul I'm going to go with Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola clothing. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, not good for did you. Kid, Coca-Cola, you know, it was a joke. So, I mean, you're also so wearing the, the cherries. Exactly why I said But you're not even wearing it, oh. it. you just embrace it. I'm going to put it on when I'm going to show you what I'm doing. All right, next up we got Rello, six days ago, edited, because we're going to speed this up. Hashtag culture spelled with a K. Shout out, chillin'. Uh, <clears throat> hashtag we here. With so many new models and retros constantly popping up and reviving, oh, are retro. there any hyped models <clears throat> you can say... You can st- well, I guess say say definitively that you would never buy no matter how hot the colorway is. Mm. Yeah. If the Fury Reebok pumps. Wow. That no matter cool. how hot the colorway is, it looks like a, a horse's foot. Like a dog. A hoof. It looks like a hoof. Go with an Air Max no, I, I would not <laughs> wear wow. that shoe. I, not. I would not wear it. No 98s? Nope. No, no Reebok and Fury pumps for me. I, guess, I gotta say Nike shocks. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, wow. wait, which ones, but though? There's like so many different ones. Any, any, any socks? I don't give a fuck what it is. Never. Okay. I just don't like the shock, ever. ever. <laughs> You'll never catch me in a pair of Birkenstocks, either. Shout out to Shams. I like those. Though. I don't even know what a Birkenstock is, but by the name of it, I don't want to wear it. Shout out to Shams. Is that, is that that sandal shit? Yeah. <laughs> nope. That shit fire. Never gonna happen. But it's not for me. It's cute feet, though. You gotta have cute feet. True. You can't do it with ugly feet. Well okay. Played. Well played. Okay. Next up, we got sneaker battle. Losing by one percent is me. So KB, you're up first. Wait, one percent. Thirty-seven, thirty-six to twenty-six. Yo, Whoa. that's crazy. I fucking love. Everybody lost. I said I want one percent. They were like, well, that's because of me. I voted for you. Mm. There's a lot of people that voted for you, huh? That's that shot yeah, right there. Lies. Look. Empty. No net. Lies. Lies. Nothing there. No basket. That's that yeah. shot they were shooting. Mm-hmm. There's air balls everywhere. I'm gonna lose this week, though. Here we go, guys. Yeah, real close. Oh, this is ugly. Let's look for the focus. Let's look for the focus. You got the focus? Is the I focus see in there? It. Yeah. That is KB in a shoe. Look like a fucking Colorful ninja. Colorful as fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank- I take that as a compliment. Ugly as fuck. No, I just can't. <laughs> You're kind of fire. I'm not going to lie to you. They're very comfortable. They're I don't like the plastic in person. Overlay. In person, I'm, I'm very no. pleased with that shoe. It's my first time really looking at it. It's no. really nice. A lot of people are just hit and miss with that one, too. So. How comfy is it? Very. Very. Berry or very? Very. Dingleberry. Berry. Well, what the fuck is this? Whose scrunchie is this? It came out of your well, shoe. It, came, it either came out of your shoe or off of you. Uh, I don't have scrunchie. I went, with, uh, scrunchie I went with New Balance because Air Max Day is over. I don't care. Don't try to call me out. You don't give a fuck. These are a custom pair of 998s. Chillin'. My turn. Tone's yeah. got 98s on. Wow. Thank you, KB. He showed his foot already. Did I call them 98s or 998s? Oh, well. You did call him 998s before. I said, what's Tonga on? He said 998s. Shout out to the peanut gallery. Snoopy. Uniqlo, what up? Uh, bang, look at that. Look 98 that. tore yellows. I uh, got like little stain right here from the beach. Shout out to Shanley. Oh, That's a good so story right lovely. there. That's a good story. So I never cleaned this shit. It's still dirty. So every time I look down, I'm like, damn, look at that shit. I remember that. Shout out. But you, you guys never know the story, but... <laughs> Vote for me. Hey, right. It's a good story, but you'll it's never a good know story, it. but you guys will never hear it. You, you heard? Ninety-eight. We gotta do hashtag. Oh, it's just broke. Hashtag. Hashtag for this week. Uh. It should be your turn. I, I, don't really, I think tones. the entire thing is over. I think it's just open to interpretation today. Hashtag extra butter. Huh? I like that. Yeah, me too. Hashtag. Just spell the whole thing. No, no EB smooth abbreviation. Smooth as fuck. Smooth as fuck. You wanna do that? Oh, mm-hmm. smooth as fuck. Hashtag smooth as fuck. 
Smooth AF. I will take smooth AF. Yeah. Right, well no, I was going to say that. Okay. It'll be across screen. If you guys use hashtag culture last week in the comment section, you got a shout out like these people are about to get. Shh. Fuck. Starting it off, we got Morris. Morris, Brian Nation, Shonuff808, uh, Reezy Rez, Jacob. You know who you are, Jacob. Shout uh, Jacob. Soul and Sons, Joseph Gomez, David Blockman, Dr. Souls11, finally back in the comments. What section. up, Doc? Alvi2, King Bentley, J uh, John Passarella. What up, John? J, J Paz. K22 Shit, Mart, Logan J. Baez, Boston's Best, Ambus for DJ Frankie Botch, uh, Brandon R.R. Martin, back in the comment section again, chilling. Uh, Rellos, Earl Hunting, Sean Kitling, Tones Giblets, you're ready. Uh, once again, shout out to official DKNO and It Room. Got you. It's Rum. It's Rum. Shout out to everybody who watches the show in the chat, even if you watch it late. Shout out to everybody that showed up to KB Celebration and everybody today as well. Chilling. Shout out to. Everybody that fucks with us. Shout out to looking to see what's coming next. There's a whole bunch of shit going on, especially shirts that Mike's supposed to. I'm still waiting for the artwork. Soon the artwork comes, we're good. We're well, I still got to get my, my design ready for Scruff. I got to send the details. Not until then. That's okay. probably why. That's I'm probably waiting. why I'm waiting. Okay, all right. What up? Oh we'll, take no, we'll take care of that. No, we'll take care of that. We'll get it done this weekend. Tone's on his own time. Tone Tom, time. Tony, like, yeah, let's it's get to Tone time. <laughs> I'll be busy sometimes. Talk, next talks with Tone should be about your, your design. Talk to Tone. Yeah, talk to Tone on the way Coming home. Coming to screen I, I should get one right now while we're filming. Should I get a live talk to Tone? That'd be pretty dope. Nope. Yeah, no. We're doing, we're shooting the breakdown right now and it's talks with Tone. Tone talks? <laughs> That's right. Tone and I look for this po look. I'm going to repost that one. That one's good. You got to keep all my ASICs out of the video though. Why? You can't see them. Mountain of ASICs. Shout out to A6. Yeah, Mount A6. You can't see them. My flesh tones. No. <laughs> that giant stack right there. It's my story. Bro. I don't care. It's whatever. Uh, are you done? Are you yeah, tones tone with the red eyes. Red you eyes. Get, you get out of here or what? What's up? You're just going to sit here and high five. You guys want to hang out with me? I thought he was leaving. Word. I got to rush. I got to yeah. work. You made us rush through the damn show and then you were sitting here. I don't even know what time it is. I enjoy the after and, and, and now you roll back. I enjoy like, the after look, you over here got your legs crossed, no, chilling and shit. I enjoy the after, 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 the, the after thoughts. Am I way, nah, way, way, way past? <laughs> you are now tuned into the after thoughts, after hours with tone of my voice and the camp out. You're ready. We are here. So, uh, so what you go meatball shop after uh, KB's thing? Yeah, that shit was nasty. No, I had a horrible experience. It was really? a chicken meatball. I didn't, I didn't like the texture of the meatball. Like it just wasn't. Was that the special meatball, or was that actually on the menu? No, no, it's just a regular uh, chicken meatball on the menu. Huh. But the broccoli was good. It was a little spicy. That shit was phenomenal. Oh, the, the, you got that just the yeah, the side, yeah, side of broccoli. That broccoli was amazing. Shout out to the meatball shop for the broccoli, not the meatball. So I don't know. Yeah, what but you, you also got a chicken meatball. Like. Yeah, I, I just didn't want to go with the, the red meat. Huh. Yeah, I was just trying to... Yeah, but their, their meatball is a, is a beef-pork combination. Also. Oh, yes, that's good. So I hope it wasn't chicken and pork, because I'm not... No, 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 no. I've been away from pork just for, like, health reasons and yeah. shit. Me too. Shout out to you. And chicken. For real? Chicken too? No meat? And beef. No, no meat. That's just hard. Nope. That's a hard thing to do. I can't go, Negative. like, cold turkey. Just, you know, off the meat and shit. Cold, cold. cuts? Hmm. Cold cuts, I love cold cuts. There's no but pause, turkey only. There is no pause if you're off the meats. You know what I'm saying? That is true. We're just saying meats too much. Yeah, it's, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice polo bear. Is that a polo bear? Yeah, so... Is that uh, from Ivy Brand? Ivy Brand. Okay. Uh, shout these out. Dave, uh, Dave showed up to the movie night. Shout out to Dave for showing up to Extra Butter. Uh, shout out to Kristen for winning the competition. Shout out to you. Thank you for inviting me. I fucking appreciate uh, you. What do you mean? I appreciate you for coming. You're I'm not supposed to be part of the After Afterthoughts. KB, you're not here. I'm talking to you here. Come mm. on, KB, chill. Yeah. Nah, this is occupied. I'm sorry. You like my sweater? No, yo, get away from me. Who are you? <laughs> it's the ghost of the last breakdown episode. Mm. Where, where'd you come from? You guys are real herbs. See? There it is. Let me just do my corner shit. Alive. H gang out here. It just roams through the apartment. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, what do we got to go? Yo, what time do you got to work? I work at 5 p.m. Wow. Yeah, maybe I should go home and take a nap. <laughs> I'm a little tired. Work. Right. I've been up since 8 in the morning. Whoa, it's the after hours. We're toning my voice in the camp out.